Hi, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be talking about how David Goggins helps me to be a better doctor. In his book Can't Hurt Me, David Goggins describes his upbringing with a verbally and physically abusive alcoholic father, his struggles at school as he was growing up, experiencing racial abuse and the mess his life was in when he was overweight and saw that his life was going nowhere. He decided to turn his life around, becoming a Navy SEAL and going on to take part in numerous ultra marathons and triathlons and generally becoming an ultimate badass. I read this book last year when we were going through an uncertain time at work. The pandemic had just hit. Our work practices had a massive upheaval. Changes were being implemented at an unprecedented pace. Colleagues were leaving and leaving us under even more pressure. Can't Hurt Me came into my life just at the right time. What I learned from his experience is that we are capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. He accomplished incredible physical feats that didn't seem possible, yet they'd happened. He ran 205 miles non-stop, the last several of which were in excruciating pain, yet he did it. He asked himself in the book, what am I capable of? If this man is capable of this, what can we each as individuals accomplish? We have to callous our minds. We can't let disappointments hold us back. We can't let one negative interaction or a rude patient have an effect on the next interaction. It encourages me to try harder and do the best I possibly can at work, to be more physically fit so I can better take the emotional and mental strains of a demanding work life. Goggins says that we have a governor in our brain, similar to a governor in a car, which only lets us go up to a certain speed. We have to get to the point where we are tired and then push 5 to 10% further. He says, don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. He also says you will realise that if you are underperforming in your physical challenges, there's a good chance you are underperforming at school and work too. I love this book so much that I've bought my 11-year-old son a version of the book without swear words and have recommended it to some of my junior colleagues who complain of a lack of motivation. It emphasises self-discipline and striving to perform to the best of your abilities and this is all we can do. So if you haven't read it, please do. Become uncommon amongst the uncommon. Stay in constant pursuit of greatness. Continue to put obstacles in front of yourself because that's where you'll find the friction that will help you grow even stronger. If you've read this book, what were your greatest takeaways? Comment below. Please like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.